Because I know we have more stuff than that. I don't know if it's a bin or if it's a box that we actually like packed. Walk, 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 walk. Spin, 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 spin. No. Okay. Come here. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Y'all, I kid y'all not. He was moving around in this thing earlier. There you go. Come here. He's almost walking. Are you going to start walking soon? Because he's scooching around, but he's not crawling, crawling yet. So, I don't know. They said there's babies that can start walking before they crawl. So, we shall see if he will be that one. Come here. No, you're probably there you go good boy come here come here come here good morning beautiful people out there hope you guys are doing well and staying safe so we are starting to decorate in here finally so we started actually we started last night but um, we were cleaning we we're doing a lot of cleaning and decluttering and moving stuff around and bringing the stuff out so the big guy decorated he did outside already so outside is basically done but now we're doing it inside and just trying to make it feel holiday like in here so like I told him, I didn't want to do too, too much. I know next year I want to switch out the theme because I've done my red and white theme for what? Four years now? It's been four, three years now? Three or four years, I can't remember. So I think next year I want to go with like maybe a white and silver or like a white and neutral. I don't know. I have over a year to plan, but I know this year will be our last year doing the red and white theme and then I want to switch to something else but i didn't want to like go out and like buy extra holiday stuff and everything just because i haven't really found anything else to add to the collection and half the stuff that i have i bought it years ago and they don't sell it anymore so i don't know maybe i could check at home and see if they have anything else but honestly like i said i don't want to like declutter the house with a bunch of decorations and stuff so we'll see we'll see because i mean this house is big but it's not super big for us to like have stuff everywhere so we'll just make do with what we have but anyways so i hope you guys are doing well um like i say it's messy in here just because we are decorating and also i need to go find a stocking for him hey hey boo i love when he just stares at me I know I got my glasses on. I lost one of my contacts and kind of find out I'm all out of contact. We're to the optometrist tomorrow to get another pack of contacts. And because I don't, these glasses are old prescription. I, I mean, I got these glasses when I was in Maryland. Like, what? Or it's been six years since I've had these glasses. And I love them because they're comfortable. These are Ray Bans. But the prescription, I can tell my prescription has changed a lot. So I need to not only get contacts, but I need to probably buy new glasses and everything. So that's why I have my glasses. You're probably like, who is this? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I just love, oh, I just love how content and how peaceful he is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just love him, y'all. Oh my gosh. So he turned seven months yesterday and I'm just like, you gotta slow down, bud. Ooh, ready for your morning nap? 
So anyway, so we're about to finish up getting the house decorated and clean. Um, I have, it's gonna be a busy day today. I have to take Tristan to a birthday party and then Maddie's having her friend come over. So I still have a lot to do, a lot to get done. But first things first, I need to give this boy some boobies. Some, some boobies. Yeah. Yeah, excited. Ooh, milk, 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 milk. I just want to come in and say, buenos dias, good morning. Thank you guys so much for all the congratulations and the kind words on my announcement saying that I, you know, tell you guys that I am officially a doula. So like I said, I've got my certification back in May and then I just got my certification to be a childbirth educator. So I'm super excited about that because I love helping moms. I love helping women. I love helping and sharing my journey as a mom. And also I love to teach and like just help people. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna go. I actually just went to get my t-shirts done because marketing is a little different down here. So I'm gonna have to like get it where I fit in when it comes to the marketing piece of it. And we'll see, you know, right now I don't have any clients, but I'm still in the building stages right now and just trying to figure out how to go about my marketing and, you know, how to execute my business plan and all of that. So I'm excited, but I'm just excited to share. Like I said, I'll be definitely bringing you guys along. Of course, I have to be respectful of people's privacy, HIPAA laws and all of that and how to intertwine that kind of information and content into my content already so it's just a lot of like brain power that i have to use but we're gonna make it work we don't trust god we're gonna make it work so it's you so let me go put this boy down for a nap and we will did you find anything else did you find Taking a vacuum. Bring it here, bud. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yo, show them what you do in basketball. Watch this again, beautiful, beautiful people. <laughs> what? what? Oh. Watch this, beautiful people. Watch. They tip it. He jumps out, catches it, but no one's there to touch him, so he gets up and almost got hit. Get it in, get it in, woo! Beautiful people! Yay! Beautiful people! Oh, Watch this, is beautiful, he? beautiful oh. people! Uh oh, there's something wrong. Hi, Lena. You ready for Christmas? Yeah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I got it! Daddy picked this out for her from where? Petco? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Oh, okay. Because I saw it. It's cute. <laughs> Lena! You ready for Christmas? Yeah. Hey, mama. Yeah. I want a huh? poem. 
Alright you guys, so we are basically done cleaning it for the right for right now. We gotta do our room and Tris's room, but should be okay for now. It's all weird to see my daughter love sister sister. So I grew up watching that, so it makes me happy, you know, she likes it. <laughs> so anyway, we are about to so we're waiting for her friend to come and we're just chilling. I need to order food. So that way we can eat and then go to bed. We really didn't do much today or this weekend. Um, it was just, you know, we just basically just got the house together to decorate. And we still have a few more things to put up. So, yeah. I don't know, next, maybe the next vlog I'll continue. Like maybe I'm ready. Yeah. about that time time for evenings with Chris but it's also time to go to bed yes ma'am if you wonder where Maddie is she sorry I said that Maddie's friend is here this is her first time having a sleepover over here so I'm super excited you know I'm glad that she's because Maddie she's a very friendly girl and she loves making friends so to have company over and spend a night it truly means a lot so I'm gonna go check on them again and probably put a movie on for them just so that way everyone can wind down and get ready for the night because your girl is tired honey and with this one waking up in the middle of the night y'all not gonna be mad but um yeah so but yeah I need to because I need to run to the optometrist tomorrow and get my contacts I had to take my glasses off because I cannot stand that pain that happens behind my ears like that's so annoying so I'm gonna have to go give me some more contacts tomorrow it's time for another evening with Chris and so I just want to come on here and just end the night and like I said just share some encouragement with you guys to end the night so what is on my heart Lord basically trust God's timing mm. Um, that right there is just something in itself so whether what it doesn't matter what it is it can be whether you're trusting for a relationship a job promotion to move whatever it is that you are waiting for trust god's timing but i did a video if you guys follow me on tiktok and instagram i did a tribute or a video um in honor of takeoff because i told you he's my favorite migo about this passing day it's just it, it's like hit me hard like when michael jackson passed away or whitney houston i don't know what it is but um i don't know i just felt in my heart to do something for him and so i did it not thinking anything of it i just wanted to do something fun and out of the box and also something that was in my heart because i said y'all know i took a break from content creating and doing videos and stuff like that and so i said if i'm gonna come back doing content and recording stuff it has to be authentic genuine and something from my heart you know i want to do stuff that's outside of the box stuff that's different i just want to do stuff that makes me happy that i know will make you happy so i didn't think anything of this video i just said okay well we're gonna take what these girls have done take it to the next level and see whatever it is doing numbers it has surpassed 2 million views on TikTok and it's just constantly growing. I'm just like, yo, like what is going on? I even said like, well, you're going to have to continue this because you got to give the people what they want, basically. So I guess I'm just trying to figure out like, you know, like how to go about it, but making sure that I'm seeking God about it, but also trusting his timing because, you know, I've been so, I don't know, I just feel like I've been so stagnant and just coasting just feel like i'm just existing instead of living truly living and so i don't know it's just something about me doing that video before the numbers started coming up before i even before it even went viral the fact that i even had fun doing that video and just doing what i need to do to make it creative like I really put a lot of thought and effort into it and I'm like well that's the kind of energy I need to be putting into everything that I do so I guess that 
like I said, minus the views and stuff like that, just the energy and the hard work that I put into that. It really motivated me and encouraged me, but also it was about timing because I couldn't have done that two, three weeks ago with the month with the mentality that I was in. I couldn't have done that a couple of weeks ago because I was not in a good place mentally. Like I told y'all, I was depressed and you know, I'm just, I don't know, I wasn't in a good place. But his timing, you know, his timing was perfect and my mindset was in a good place and it just all aligned perfectly. So now I'm just like, bro, now what I gotta do next? Like, it's like now, who I gotta do next? Who's my new, who's gonna be the next person to flowers to? I just wanna encourage you guys to just trust his timing. You know, whether it's to move or, you know, to get a job or to find the one or to let the one find you, you know, whatever it is, trust the timing you know having babies you know you know I just look at my pregnancies and just looking at life like everything was perfectly aligned and perfectly timed by God and it's um. continuing to be perfectly aligned and timed by God like I'm complaining about my lens I'm still using a raggedy lens but I know in due time he will provide me with a new lens because lenses are cheap but we're going to use what we have we're gonna make it do what we do, and we're gonna trust that he's gonna provide to get a bigger, you know, better lens and all that. So that is it for Eve's with Chris. Like I said, we didn't do much this weekend. We just basically stayed home, got the house ready for Christmas. I took the boys to a birthday party today. Big guy and Max stayed home to get the house ready for my guests and now we to go make sure that they're okay. So I'm super excited about everything. I just gotta, like I said, put in the work. Trust God's timing and see how it goes. So, let's get it. <laughs> All right, you guys. My battery is about to die. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with everyone that you know if you love this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.